Uh, let's let's just start with uh, the early days. What did you do before college? Where'd you grow up? I grew up in the country. My backyard was a uh, 500 acre polo pasture. So we would go out when we were uh, seven, eight years old and hop on these polo ponies and see who could stay on the horse of the longest. <laughs> It was sort of an idyllic place, at least in the summer, to grow up south of Buffalo, New York. South of Buffalo. In East Aurora, New York. At uh -huh. least the summers were great. The winter had, winters had the advantage of, uh, I could guarantee, I, I was guaranteed two weeks off every year because we are in the snow belt of North America. So every winter there would be no school for, on average, two weeks. So that's not far from like Cornell University, is it? No, it's probably three hours from Cornell. I see. So, and what about college? Uh, son of a gun, I got into Amherst College and chose it because none of my classmates were going there and I thought it would be a nice experience to go to Amherst, Massachusetts. Uh, it was a great experience there. It was, the, it turns out, the uh, probably the only school, Division Three school, I could get on the golf team. They had, uh, it was sort of an academic place and every class had one very good golfer and then a bunch of also-rans. I was one of the also-rans and played number six on the Amherst College golf team for three straight years. Never could have done that at any other school. And you graduated at the top of your class, I assume? I graduated dead even. I was in the 50th percentile of my <laughs> class, and I felt that was quite an accomplishment because there are a lot of big brains at Amherst College. Still are. 